y'all. See, baby, she got Frankie Red from the one and only FND and, of course, the Phoenix Magazine. We are here today at Across the Aisle. I'm so excited to be interviewing these two lovely ladies. Now, y'all can see right here, I got my artwork, okay? This is what I created because one half of these, okay, sisters was the reason. Vibe Urban Painting is here with us today. And, of course, we are sitting not only with the marketing genius behind the scenes, that is Sister Erica, but we're also sitting with the teacher. The reason why this looks so dope, because let me tell you something, I could not do this by myself without the teachings of the one and only Tatum. Y'all make some noise for Vibe Urban Painting. How y'all doing? Thank you. Thank you. Listen. I, so you could keep the mic because I'm a, it's, it's picking up on this one for me. So I'm gonna have you back when I do a question. So you can just say, you know, your intro, whatever you want, because we're gonna chop it up and you could just look into the camera. Okay. So hey, we here, Bob Urban Painting. We're so excited. Bye, 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 bye. Hey, we're here. I'm Tatum. This is my sister Erica. We're from Vibe Urban Painting, and we're so happy to be here. We're so grateful. Thank you guys. Awesome. So I definitely the first thing right off the bat I want to ask is how you guys started in this business and what was kind of the inspiration to do this because this is kind of niche a lot of people know what you know sipping and painting is and then a lot of people are like still don't know so right. you're kind of in a market where people are catching up to it but at the same time it's original so talk to me about the business the idea and why you're here today all right well my um my sister came up with the idea I personally always wanted to do it, but she's more of a let's do it, let's do it kind of person. <laughs> I'm more of a let me think about if I'm going, how I'm going to get there, that kind of thing. So she wanted to, hey, we can do this, and she did the marketing, and then I just do what I love to do. That's it, really. Erica, you have anything you want to add? We just like to thank um, F and D for having us. It was such a great opportunity, and we're we're actually new to Broward. And we, we're really hoping to, you know, get our name out there and, you know, spread the love. I love it. So I definitely, one of the things I love about this company, right, is that it's two sisters. And I think that makes your uh, company very dynamic because a lot of people go into business with either strangers or friends. But there's a family dynamic here. So this is something that, you know, can leave legacy, right? So I want you to talk about the importance of that sisterhood and also how you separate the sisterhood from the business side. Oh, wow. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, um, she's my big sister. She's 12 <laughs> years older than me. Um, so we don't have that close, close always together went to school together kind of relationship like other siblings do like my we have a brother and he's two years older than me so he and i went to school together and things like that but my sister was technically like the only child because she has that, that <laughs> um but 12 years us, he was like i'm yeah, running the awesome. child right <laughs> <laughs> so it gives us this great opportunity to be together to spend time and have that sisterhood that you know we, we have inside but now we get to be together twice a month um we were already in, in um child care together at one point um so now now we get to do this together we talk all the time now we laugh we talk about everything now <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah it definitely um it brought us a lot closer together um i'm looking forward to to more memories with my sister oh so. i love that and she says i'm 12 years older and I, I've always believed in Tatum. I think her, her art. Is, I'm her number one fan. Definitely. Wow. Um, she was. I tell people all the time. Her, her first art. She, she drew on the walls, all the time, and would blame me and my brother. Mm. It, it was getting it, whoopings for it that. Would, it would, it would, it would, <laughs> clearly, <laughs> it would clearly say Tatum, but she would blame me and my brother Kevin. And, uh, <laughs> she started doing murals. And her art, since she was a child, has always been just fabulous. And you know, I I believed in her, and I would I wanted everyone else to experience what I experience every day, seeing her art, because I'm always just blown away. And I, if it was up to me, I would take every painting that she creates would would be at my house. Mm. But um, you know, I'm I'm excited to work with her. We both actually work in childcare. We're both preschool directors. Wow. So we're different companies. But it also gives us, like, like she said, it gives us a chance to like really, you know, spend more time together because of that big gigantic age gap. Mm, so yeah. it's, it's been great. 
I love it. I love it. Now, I definitely, uh, I definitely want to ask because you, I think you perfectly segued into it. Both of you are in education. You work with the children, right? And to be able to have a completely different kind of career from what it is that you do as an entrepreneur, sometimes that could be difficult, right? Sometimes it could be conflicting. But you being an artist, you probably find, you know, a therapy in that or you find that you're spreading that. So talk a little bit about, you know, the difference between being an entrepreneur and pursuing this as Vibe Urban and then how that kind of either complements or conflicts with your everyday to day career. Oh, well, right now, um, for, for the company that I work for, I am their activities director. Mm. So I teach several different subjects, including art. Um, so a fun job. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it can be. I, I do their events. I hand make their decorations. Um, so we have a, a ball coming up, and I'm going to make the centerpieces and whatever's hanging. And um, I'm doing like a, a, a rose and kind of steampunk vibe together. Um, but I, I like to be able to move around. I can't stay in one spot. Not, I've been in childcare since since I was 18. Mm. Um, so it, it sitting in one place is not for me. <laughs> it's not. I have to be able to move around. I have to be able to use my hands and be creative. So this has always been a dream to to be able to do something like this, to be able to use my talent and 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 make it a career. And I really want to make it a career. Um, it doesn't necessarily conflict with my my schedule. My boss is, is pretty understanding, and she tends to come to some of the sipping paints. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. Um, so, and she even she enjoys. She brought her mom and, and her sister, and you know, um, it doesn't necessarily conflict. I kind of just make everything work around <laughs> everything else if I can. Um, as far as my kids though, because I do have twins. I have twin six year olds. Um, I want them to be able to see their mom doing something mm. great, something she loves to do, so they know that they can do it. Because I feel like I waited too long to do it. And I'm 36 now, and I wish I would've did it when I was 18, when I graduated, you know? So it's a blessing, and then I can be a blessing to my kids, you know? I love that. And it ain't too late. You living the dream no, now. It's not. It ain't too late. <laughs> not too it late. ain't too late. Go ahead, Erica. We are also um, ministers' children. Both our parents are ministers. Wow. And Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, they we, are, we are church kids. And people are always watching. So we we will we will always keep it professional. We have a great time. Um, we, we, we're kind of aiming for like classy, classy, classy excellence. So, um, you know, we, we will never stray from that path. And you know the children. You know you never know who you're gonna run into. So we can't. You know we have we have parents that you know support us as well. So we work really hard to maintain a professional environment. Um, she's the more creative side. My company we're more sh strictly business, getting things done. There's a lot of charts and stuff like that. So my brain works in that direction. So together, Analytics. yeah. So together it works. It works. Yeah. You know I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not paying. <laughs> you gotta make sure that everything, everything else is gonna flow. That's how, I and mean, I think, you know, that's how it, it was meant to be, most definitely. I love that. Now, for those of you that may not know, here at FND, of course, this is a brother, family-owned and operated store. F Frank D. Don. And one of the things that I love is that, you know, we're able to provide this platform, you know, for any and everybody, but it's special to us because it's the first one of 2023 and you all are sisters. So I think that is super duper amazing. Now I must say, everybody had different types of canvases, okay? Everyone had a different look to it. It was like, everybody had a different look to it. As an artist, man, and I would love for you to kind of chime in on this. How would you say that you, um, kind of drive creativity right because I'll, I'll speak for me when I was doing my painting I just kind of allowed the paint to drive me I didn't really overthink it too much mm -hmm. I didn't even plan on like designing the dress per se but I just kind of did it because it felt right so as an instructor how do you do that how do you you know say hey look take this and make this with it or go in this direction creatively oh well if it, everyone's different you have your perfectionist, like my best friend over there, she can be a perfectionist. <laughs> the she, art student. <laughs> yeah, she, she'll line the lines up. She wanted to do a certain thing, so she'll make sure the lines are straight. 
you got some people are a little more heavy handed, they dip in the paint and they just go at it. And then, <laughs> you know, and they got chunks on there, but they okay with that. They just, you know, um, so it really just depends on everything is art. Everything is art. Um, everything has to be designed. Everything has to be created. Um, when I was a kid, they, you know, they asked you, who's your favorite? Who do you look up, up to? Because like she said, because I'm a preacher's daughter, you don't look up to anybody but God. Mm. Um, and you literally look up. Right. You know, so the <laughs> thing about it is because he created everything, um, we're just representing that. And art is really just a representation of what you're trying to create. Mm. So it doesn't necessarily have to look exactly like anything. It just has to represent what you want it to represent. Now, you can't actually see the curls in her skirt. But you, but you know there's curls in her skirt. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, just go at it. it. It's there's no wrong and there's no right. You know, heavy handed, light handed, perfectionist. Or you just gonna slap it on that. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be art. You know, it, it's gonna be good as long as you love it. And sometimes, sometimes I don't love it. Other people, like I have little quirks. Little things will bother me. Like in my painting, there's probably three things right now that's bothering. Well, okay, can I guess? Yeah. This, it wasn't shaded all the way in? Nope. Okay, uh, uh, dang, I don't know, this looked perfect to me. All right, point it out, point it out, I don't know nothing. So in the black, you'll see where the paint didn't go all the way through the texture of the canvas. So you see like little white dots. Mm -hmm. Okay. That will drive me nuts. And then I have to pretend that it doesn't, but it, like, I, it really does. So everyone is, is different. I want more out of mine. Sometimes less is more with other people. It just depends on the person. Mm, I love that. Yeah. Now I got a question for you, kind of straight to you, right? Because one of the things that stands out to me is the fact that you guys are polar opposites, but you make it work, right? So while we were painting, you were out there doing the pitches, you know, doing the creative marketing, getting people involved online on social media. How do you? How would you say that Erica uh, adds a benefit and a layer to Vibe Urban Painting, right? Because it's not just like, hey, I believe in you, sis. I think you should do this as a business. You could have just given her this idea and she could have honestly just ran with it. She's an artist, but you have something to contribute. So talk about that contribution and how you kind of add value to the company. Well, the one thing I, I do appreciate because we are very different, I would say Tatum is, is, has an artistic brain. So a lot of times when she's beginning to do an art piece, I don't see it. When I end up doing something like the complete same with me, my brain works in a different fashion. So when I'm taking pictures or I'm doing something, it's a reason. It's a reason. It's like when she's painting, it's mm -hmm. a reason. So we're learning to trust each other. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing certain. I'm setting it up for the long haul. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, I'm, I don't always explain everything. I know I don't. I don't, I don't explain everything, but there's a reason. And just like when she, when I first see the beginning of her painting, I'll just go like, oh, okay, that's, you know, but at the end, I'm always in awe. I'm always amazed. We have, it's like I paint with my brain that she paints with, you know, and I like, I write children's books as well. And mm. She's my artist. So, wow, you know, so look at that. So you're the illustrator. Yeah, she's yeah. the illustrator and, and I'm the writer. Yeah. The same concept, but we're business. You're right. Same concept. I love it. But we trust each other. Mm, yes, listen, y'all, you have to come over here to FND. This is the only place where you can get to know entrepreneurs such as these. Make sure that you're following Bob Urban Painting, okay, on all social media platforms. Y'all see this right here? Pause the video, take a screenshot. <laughs> yep, make sure that you're following Bob Urban Painting, and it's spelled out exactly like that. Bob Urban Painting on all social media platforms. Also, be sure to follow FND at We. R F and D with dots in between full sentence. Okay, so we dot R dot F and D. Of course, you can follow me, your favorite chica, Frankie Red at Frankie Red Words. That is Frankie I E. Red is the color words with a Z. And of course, big shout out to the Phoenix Magazine. Be sure to follow us at the Phoenix Mag so you can see this amazing interview and all the dope interviews that we got coming up. That wraps up our session, ladies. Thank you so Thank much. Let's do some cheers, cheers, <laughs> sip and paint. Okay, cheers. I'm cheering to more success for vibes, okay? And of course, more success for F&D. This is your favorite chica, Frankie Red. I'm ending it with a treat.